Hi everyone, I'm Shelly of Shelly Anderson Art. Welcome to my channel. Um, a while back I took part in a mixed media collaboration using acrylic skins. I got the bright idea I would cut them out using the Cricut Explorer Air and that didn't work out too well for me. <laughs> my extent of using the Cricut is cutting out a few names and that is it. So that's why this is not called a tutorial. Uh, I did look on YouTube and trying to pick up a few tips, really didn't get anything there. I spoke to a few people and I went out and bought a deep knife blade and I set up customized material. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that. Um, at the end of the instructions, there's some additional information that might help you out and a pictorial review of my step-by-step -step instructions. Also, I will have the links to all the products I use listed below my video in the description box, as well as the links to the uh, Skins Mixed Media Collaboration in case you want to watch them. Uh, I have to say, it was a lot of fun to do that, and I hope you enjoy them. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. You have a blessed day now. Bye.
have the design space opened up. The Cricut is turned on and it is in the custom materials position. Okay, if you take a look down here, there are a lot of different graphics and um, crafts and such that you can make. But to save time, I'm going to go straight to my projects. Click on that. And this is some that I cut for the collaboration. I'm going to open that up. I've already made it, but I'm going to go back and customize so you can see what I need to do. Okay. Load up. Now each of these graphics are individual and they can be uh, enlarged and moved around. But what I really want to do is group them together so when I cut them on the skin they're in the area I want them to be. Okay, um, if I don't group them together and I go ahead and click on make it, it'll put them where it wants to on the mat. And let me show you that. See, it took them out of the order I had them. And that's really not what I'm wanting. So I'm going to go back and then we're going to group them. Now there's two ways you can do this. We can draw a box around it and come over here to your right and click group. Or I can go up here to select all and it'll put a box around it as well. Click on group. And then move down to the very bottom and click attach. Now when I um, go to make it, it's going to be in the order I have it here on the screen. Let me show you that. I've got to choose the mat. And it's just going to be a number one mat for any material right here. The size is a 12 by 12 I'm choosing. They do have a 12 by 24. So I'm going to hit continue. As you see, uh, the graphics are right where I wanted them. But if there is a particular area of the skin you prefer to cut, then you can do some calculations and just move your graphics over. You should be good to go. All right, next step is to hit continue. Now, Design Space is linking with the uh, Cricut Explorer. So we need to set the base material. Let's click on Browse All Materials. Come down to Material Settings. Okay. You need to scroll all the way to the bottom. Here we go. Add new material. Right here. I'm going to name this one Skins 5. Click on Save. Now this is the area where you set your blade, your cut pressure, and the amount of times you want it cut. Let's change this to deep point blade. I'm going to bring up the cut pressure to 225. Okay. And then I think I'm going to cut it twice. Now. I experimented with a variety of skins. One of them was super thick, so I took the cut pressure to 250 and two times the cut. On um, part of it, it cut all the way through, uh, but uh, not on the other. So I could have gone up to 275. Uh, some of the thinner skins only had to cut once at two, 225. So it's all a grand experiment. <laughs> it just depends on the thickness of your skin. So I'm sorry I cannot give you a definitive uh, cut pressure. All right, let's click on save. Scroll down to the bottom and hit done. Okay. 
Now, uh, Skins 5 is not up here, so you have to go back to Browse All Materials. I do not know why, but scroll down to My Materials. Here we go, Skins 5. And done. Okay, now it's time to load the mat. So on your Cricut machine, the little arrows here should be lighting up. And you load your mat. Okay, and then right here, there's a flashing button on the Explore, and you click on that, and it starts cutting. I'm not going to cut this all the way through. As promised, here's a little bit more additional information. Now this particular skin, I swiped on a heavy duty silicone mat. See how thick it is. Here we go. <laughs> um, I should have thought to put a board underneath the mat so I could have tilted or used less paint and I didn't either. But anyway, I set the cut pressure to 225 with multi-cut. It did not cut all the way through here, but it did on the thinner end. Don't you love that? I'm going to revisit that piece at another time. Now this one was thin, and I put a layer of the transfer paper over it. Let me show you that real quick. This is by Cricut. Uh, it's a little bit tackier than the off-brand I got at Walmart. This was $8.99 plus 40% off of that. And this is the one I actually used. The one from Walmart, Magic Cover. I, I bought it a long time ago, so I don't really remember what price it was. So I put a layer of that over this, and like I said, and cut it on 225 single cuts successfully. Now, if you have a th uh, piece that is thinner than this, I would advise you to sandwich between uh, two layers of the transfer paper and then cut. Also, if your mat is new and super sticky and you have a thin skin, likely it's going to rip and tear as you pull it off. So I've been advised to take a piece of cloth and rub it over the mat and it'll make it a little less, tack little less tacky. Okay, I can't think of anything else. Um, if you have any more questions, just shoot me an email. It's listed below the video in my description box. And let me show you a few of the skins I created while we're here. Here we go, we have a fish and turtle and a bunch of seahorses. I love this one, and look at this guy, isn't he cute? Okay, well thank you so much for watching.